We are back at Las Vegas Motor Speedway working the 18th lap at the Grand Prix of Las Vegas. And there you see Alan McNish stationary in that beautiful Porsche 911 GT Evo car. The reason is he has had contact. Bill Adam, I'm amazed to see those headlights working. A moment ago, that piece of bodywork was off the car. Well, when you spend this much money on a car, you expect a real good quality car. McNish had a coming together with a bunch of cars up at one end of the course, and the, the, the front bonnet, literally, well, here we are right now. You can see, now there's the Corvette. Let's just watch and see what happens. He's, oh man, Alan, you shouldn't have been in there. He had no business getting inside taken both of them around and he's well i don't think there's much damage one of the dyson cars has gone off there in the dust directly behind him as well as one of the porsches here's just another view at it that's yeah, one of those things that just not enough room on the track everybody heading for the same piece of track all at once now with the nose of the car being loose mcneesh here we go now, now watch this Well, you know what? I'm not so sure that that was Alan's mm -hmm. fault. I think uh, he did have a right to that corner. He was... Plenty he of was blame well. to go around there. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm sorry, Alan. Didn't mean to criticize you for that one. And moments ago, as is required of drivers, if your car breaks down on track, you have to fix it yourself or get it back to the pits as best you can. McNish has done that. Now, they're back in. They'll just do a check to make sure the car is okay. They've not lost enough time on the track that losing a few more minutes to make absolutely sure that everything is safe won't hurt them. Last race for this beautiful Porsche 911. Porsche factory expected back with an open top prototype car. Yeah, this next year, retired. the champion team will be back with what looks right now like a Lola chassis.